What's up, Metalheads? My name is Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoy this video, hit that like button for me. All right, I got an unboxing for you guys. And this is a knife I'm very excited about. I've been looking forward to getting this knife for some time. And uh, the unboxing knife is going to be the Kaiser Feist. I hope it uh, lives up to my expectations because I've set really high expectations for this knife. Man, I hope it's as good as I think it's going to be. I'm excited to. Um, there were some uh, more budget-friendly versions of this knife, and then there was a, a premium version that dropped. And because of how they made the premium version of this knife, I had to get it. You know, long, something about this knife, too, is it is similar to a knife that I won a long time ago. Ooh, got some goodies in here. I won a long time ago from uh, Jared Neves. Ooh, that's different. Uh, look at that, man. You slipped quite a few knives in there. That's pretty sweet. Little knife uh, roll here, mini roll, and some patches, Kaiser patches. But uh, I won a knife from Jared Neves when I first started collecting knives. And I started right when I first started my YouTube channel, I won a knife from him. And uh, that knife I won from him, I cut myself, I stabbed myself in the palm right here a couple times with that knife. Trying to learn how to front flip. And uh, that, it was this knife, actually. And uh, when it's smaller, so when I try to front flip it and miss, I stab myself a couple times right there. And uh, But, you know, I didn't give up. I kept, ow, as I do it again almost. See, it's too short. Didn't cut myself, but almost did. Did I? Did I? No. But I did that in the past. I cut myself a couple times. This knife here should uh, resolve that issue. It better not be a drop bear, because that is not what I bought. Kaiser's stepping up the game, but maybe it's just because this is one of those more premium knives. Oh, ho, 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 ho. there it is. I was going to just get the regular natural micarta Feist XL, but when I saw they were releasing 20 CV and some extra hardware there for you, and... Uh, um, Purple Haze Fat Carbon, how could I not get it? How could I not get Purple Haze Fat Carbon, right? Purple's kind of the channel theme. Oh, there it is. Not much purple in there on that side. More purple on the clip side. Man, let's see if I can get the light over here to give you all a little better look at this. Man, look at that fat carbon. I love fat carbon. It's beautiful. Damn, it costs too much money, though. Could have done a little better with the clip in this price range. This knife was $180, but with a 10% discount. It's like $177, I think. And it was like ended up being like $160. And, uh, bam. Man, it's bigger than I thought. Definitely not going to stab myself with this one, though. It's too long to stab myself. Definitely has great action. Man, it is bigger than I thought. Quite a bit bigger than a regular Feist, huh? Man, I wonder if they make a medium size. Because that's actually bigger than, uh, bigger than I anticipated. But it's not terrible. Definitely a great knife, man. The Feist is... Time will tell on this one, because I will be doing a review of this in the future. I'm definitely going to lay the edge back. Got all kinds of oil on that blade. I oiled the crap out of it, which is good. Man, I got some more purple haze over here somewhere. Where, where's it at? There's some more purple haze. Definitely different fat carbon, I think, from different supplier or something. This has a lot more purple than that does. And you can tell by the pattern. This side uh, doesn't. This side does, though. What is that? What's that white spots on there? You see those white spots right there, right there? What is that? Right there. Um, that, was, that one really bugging me. 
Oh, they're all over it now that I'm looking at it. See all these white spots? What's up with the white spots? I'm not liking the white spots. Let's see if we can wipe those white spots off. No white spots on this. Get some rubbing alcohol here and see if we can wipe that off. No, whatever that is, it's in the carbon fiber. And it is not wiping off. Hmm. That's disappointing, honestly. The action isn't disappointing, don't get me wrong. I just don't like seeing those white spots all over it. It's not supposed to have white spots on it. But I am a bit OCD, so maybe it's just that. See how sharp it is? Although paper doesn't really tell us much, I'm still going to cut some paper with it. Oh, well, it's sharp. I'd expect no less from Kaiser. Nice and sharp. I can be completely honest. I'm, I'm a little disappointed in the purple haze. It's just I expected something more like this. And it's not, not the same. I definitely don't like all these spots all in it. Something's off there. That shouldn't be there. I'm not happy about that. What do you guys think? I don't know if they're even showing up on camera or not, but... See all these white spots? There and there, 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 there. Bad one there, there, there. I don't know what that is, but it should not be in the carbon fiber. It shouldn't be white spots in it. There's no white in this carbon fiber, right? Hmm. Action's fantastic, out of the box. I need a little lube on the bearings. Hmm. What do you guys think about the white spots? Um, this is a limited edition, so I'd hate to send it back, but that's just bugging the crap out of me. I don't know if y'all can see them. Hopefully they show up for you guys to see those. Very odd looking with the white spots. It's like it's like it needs to be wiped off, but it's not wiping off. I see I can see some little white spots in there too. It's like they mick when they were layering layering this, they got some they didn't clean it well and some trash got in there or something when they layered this and made it. And then when they milled it out, it's all popping through in spots. Not not very good quality in my opinion. Um, I don't know. I'm going to think on it. I'm not sure how I feel about it, honestly. I like the action. I like the knife. I just don't like that. And for this price point, I don't think you should have to deal with that kind of crap. Um, honestly. But maybe I'm just too picky. You guys give me your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. And I will see you guys on the next one.